Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from this channel. In this video, I'll write a SQL or PL SQL query that will convert and display the employee's table salary column from US dollar to Pakistani currency. This query will use the SQL UTL HTTP package request method to get the updated foreign exchange rates. To convert between international currencies, I'll use the API layer Internet Web Service Real-Time Currency Exchange Rates data. Before starting this video, let me tell you that this tutorial requires Oracle Database and HR Sample Schema installation on your PC. Both these videos are available on my channel. If you need them, you can watch them by visiting my channel. Let's now start our tutorial. First, create an account and sign in to the API layer website and click Exchange Rates Data API. Next, click Subscribe for free plan and you will get your API key. Now, click the Live Demo button. Next, type the amount to be converted. Then, type the three letters code of the currency you would like to convert from. Also, the three letters code of the currency you would like to convert to. And finally, copy the URL. Remember to append the API key parameter to the URL as well. Now, paste your URL here and it should look like this. In order to connect to a website from Oracle Databases, you need to download the target website's root certificate and store it in an Oracle wallet. So, let's create an Oracle wallet first. Copy this command. And run it in Windows Terminal to create a new wallet. You must remember the wallet path and password because it will be used in the query. After creating a wallet, let's next download the API layer SSL certificate. To do this, first copy the API layer base URL. And open it in any web browser. Now, first click this padlock icon, then click the connection is secure, and finally click the certificate icon to open the certificate viewer dialog box. Click the details tab. Now, highlight the root certificate and click the export button at the bottom to open the save as dialog box. Before saving, make sure that the base64 must be selected in the save as type list. Next, run this command in Windows Terminal to add the downloaded certificate to the Oracle wallet. Here, type the Oracle wallet password and press enter. Oracle Database might not be able to access the Oracle Wallet. In such case, you need to change the Wallet Directory file permissions and manually grant the current window user access to the Wallet folder. So next, open the Advanced Security Settings for the Cert folder. And change its owner to current window user.
After creating and configuring the Oracle wallet, add both its path and password to this query here. If you are accessing a web service from SQL or PLSQL, you need to give access to the web service by adding the web service to the access control list. Basically, ACL is used to control access by users to external network services and resources from the database. For example, this ACL grants the connect privilege for host api.apilayer.com to HR user. So, let's create an ACL and do the final settings. First, copy this code. Next, open SQL Developer and connect to System or Sys account. Finally, paste and run this code to create the ACL. Also, you can use this query to view information about network and ACL assignments. We have finished configuring UTL HTTP access. Let's finally test our SQL query now. Connect to HR user account. Next, copy this SQL code. In SQL Developer, finally run the query. Finally, we have successfully converted the salary amount from US dollar to equivalent Pakistani rupees in Oracle SQL using live currency rates from apilayer.com internet web service. This is the up-to-date conversion rate. Let's also double-check it with Google. So, in this lecture, you have learned how to consume a web service or call a web service from SQL and PLSQL. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about this tutorial. Goodbye.